Welcome back YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be talking about buying used reloading dies. Now there's nothing wrong with used reloading dies. I mean if dies are properly cared for they'll last a lifetime. In this case I have a pair of small base 30 out 6 dies made by RCBS and they these were made in 1977 so they're a little bit on the old side, but they should work just fine. Let me show you some of the things you might want to look for in terms of, of reloading dies. In terms of the way the dies are cut and the dimensions, you shouldn't really run into any problems there unless they've just been used a whole butt load. In this case, uh, these dies have a little bit of surface rust, which we're about to fix. And they have the old style locking collars, which I actually prefer to the newer ones. Um, you always want to look down inside each die, especially the... Um, resizer die. You want to check and see if the decapping pin is bent or anything like that or rust, uh, rusted. You want to get a uh, small flashlight or something, look up in there and see if they're all rusted out, which in this case these are fine. So we're going to get the, uh, the capping assembly out of this thing and uh, we're going to go on to uh, polish the inside of this die. We're going to polish the expander ball and I'm going to parkerize these dies. Uh, more on that in a minute. Um, you want to have a small uh, pistol cleaning rod like I have right here. I've got a 20 gauge brush that should fit in there pretty snugly. I've got some of these small cotton brushes, some JB Bore Bright, a little bit of 1200 grit sandpaper. So we're going to try to basically just smoothen it out and polish it real well. You don't want to take off any metal by any means, but we're basically just going to you know, get it cleaned up and ready to use, and we're going to size some cases on it. All right, I got the uh, decapping pin out of the die. As you can see, it just it just threads out. It's threaded. No big deal. See? Um, but the capping pin itself is pretty dirty, so uh, we're going to move on to clean these things up. Let me change the camera angle. All right, this process is really pretty easy. I mean, there's not a lot to it. You're basically just cleaning the thing. I mean, it's wiping off all the debris. Anything that would you know affect the function of the dies themselves, you're checking for abnormal wear, anything funky. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move over here to the uh, polishing wheel, and I'm gonna polish this thing real quick while you guys are on the camera with me. Okay. All right, got this thing polished a bit. Just gonna take a clean cloth and just clean the uh, polishing media off of it as best I can here. So this expander ball should do a heck of a lot better. But just to drive the point home um, with this expander ball, I'm just gonna do the. I already made a video on this, on this, but we're just gonna take a little bit of 240 grit and we're gonna. Um, just basically polish the expander ball on this thing. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, we got our 1200 grit. We started with some 240 grit, moved down to 1200. And you know, like I said, on this new set of dies, we're just polishing the expander ball and the decapping pin while checking for wear, burrs, anything that, you know, in your mind would render this item unserviceable, okay? Not really a whole lot to it. I mean, we're just, we're just improving the function of the dies and removing any kind of preemptive uh, sort of dirt or debris or anything that, you know, would render the uh, cartridge or would cause the cartridge to get stuck, okay? So we're going to move on to the die body. Okay, with these uh, die bodies, every brand is different, but on the RCBS, you're going to have this little Allen uh, locking piece here. Go ahead and loosen it up, and uh, go ahead and just uh, don't pull it out all the way. Leave it a couple of turns in. Go ahead and take the lock ring off the die, okay, and you'll see why in a second. Right, we're going to take the lock ring off. That's what we're doing right now. Okay. 
just clean the threads, oil it, all that good stuff. You shouldn't have any have any issues there at all. Okay, the die body itself. What I like to do is take a tight fitting bore brush and uh, just swab out the die and just have a peek and see how it looks. In this case, this die is really shiny. There's no problems with it. But what I'm probably going to go ahead and do, all right, we're going to take one of these uh, little cotton guys with some bore, uh, JB Bore Bright. We're just going to polish the inside of this reloading die a bit. I mean, essentially all we're really trying to do is just improve overall function and, you know, smoothing out any little scratches or burrs that are on the inside of the die, anything like that. Okay, so I've applied the uh, bore bright to the inside of the die. And uh, I'm just going to take our 20 gauge brush, put it back on. And we're just going to work the inside of the die a little bit with this bore bright. Okay. Nothing fancy at all. This is just basic die maintenance is all this is. There we go. Oh yeah, very nice. So now we're just going to put a uh, patch puller on here and we're going to uh, pull a couple of patches through this thing, make sure we got all the uh, rouge out of there. Okay. And this is just basic stuff. Um, in terms of the die body itself, the outside of it, we're not going to worry about that right at the moment because I'm going to go ahead and move on to... Uh, I'm actually going to parkerize these dies, so we're not worried about about that right now. Um, one thing I will tell you on these RCBS dies that you got to watch out for: when you buy a U-set, there's a little bleed hole right here. That's for air to escape. You want to take a little pick or something like I'm doing, make sure that bleed hole is clear. And that there's not a whole bunch of like garbage or crap built up in it, because that's what uh, allows that uh, air and all that kind of stuff to escape. I mean, it might have a little bit of uh, just random stuff built up in it, but like I said, you're just going to take a little pick and clear that out. I'm going to move on to parkerize this die body. I'm actually going to make a separate video about uh, a service I'm wanting to offer. And basically, um, I'm going to show the finished product at the end of this video you're watching. But I'm going to make a separate video offering the service and the uh, conditions and everything in terms of uh, compensation or, you know, whatever. If you guys want to uh, send your dies in to me to have them parkerized. So, I'm going to show the finished product. But, like I said, watch the other video for the details of that. But I am going to be offering die uh, parkerizing service. So, I mean, that's basically, um, you know, use dies in a nutshell. You just inspect each die, you know, make sure they're clean. You know, it's just like any other kind of tool or die or anything you get. You just want to make sure it's clean and serviceable. Um, I'm going to size a few casings on this thing, and I'll let you know if I run into any problems. But you always want to size the casings and then run the dimensions of the casings that you're getting. Run it against published data and make sure it's sizing it like it's supposed to, especially if it's a small base set. You know, they generally size the case all the way down to the webbing, and I mean it, all the way down. And then it usually sets the shoulder back just a smidgen further than normal dies. So if it's like in this case, a small base die from M1 Garand, it's designed to set the shoulder back a little further and to size it all the way down to the webbing. You want to make sure it's doing that. So let's move on. Our 30 out 6 dies, we went and we cleaned them up, parkerized them, give them a good look and finish. That's just a little bit of a, it's like a, that right there is just a, it's like a starch buildup that gets on there. It just wipes right off. Anyway, there's your 30 out 6 dies that have been newly parkerized, cleaned. They're ready to be used. These dies were produced in 1977.